Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dahlia Orth. I'm a system strategist and a HoneyBook Pro, and I love helping business owners build efficient, easy, seamless, and streamlined systems behind the scenes that help them gain back time and freedom in their lives. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe below and take advantage of the, when new episodes release on the channel. So this video, we're gonna be talking all about templates in HoneyBook and how to actually get started building templates in HoneyBook. So you've probably heard me talk before about the beauty of templates and how I believe templates are the foundations to every great system. And that's no different with HoneyBook. So how do you actually get started with your templates though? And what does that look like? So I'm actually gonna give you a little bit behind the scenes tutorial in HoneyBook of where to get started with your templates, where to actually start building your contracts, your invoices, your emails, your packages, all of those things. But the very first thing you wanna make sure you do is actually gather your templates in the first place. So the easiest way to do this is within a Google document. Open up a fresh Google document and just write at the top, like title it email templates, right? So again, then you go into your inbox and you look at, okay, what are those emails that I send all the time to the same people over and over and over again? Maybe you have the same response for your inquiry response. Maybe you have the same response for filling out a questionnaire, whatever that might be, copy and paste those, those templates over into a Google document, and then you go into your HoneyBook and you start to copy and paste them right into the system. So that's the easiest way. Same with a contract. If you have a contract you've already purchased already, what you wanna do is you'll just copy and paste that contract into HoneyBook, and then you'll just wanna fill in the blanks. You can fill those in with smart fields I like to use, and those smart fields will then be able to auto-populate some of that information from your client. But you can also fill in there like your state and county or your business name, like things like that that are more specific to your business. But going in and actually copying and pasting it and putting it into your account will be the start of getting your templates up and running. Same with your packages and pricing. If you already know those, you have all the details ironed out for those. Maybe you have a website page with all of your package details in it. Copy and paste those into your HoneyBook account and get those started with your templates because that'll be a huge game changer behind the scenes for you. So we're gonna dive in a little bit on how to get started making your templates in HoneyBook. Where do you actually go? How do you start doing that? And then of course, if you have any questions, leave a comment below or let me know too, like what templates have you already built in your own business? And what have you found to be most beneficial by having templates in your business? I would love to hear. And then there's some free resources you can take advantage of below too, including a link to contract templates if you're on the market for that, and a few other resources that I provide within my business. So stay tuned, friend. All right, so where do you actually start begin creating templates for your own business? I've covered a lot in other videos with templates, so you, you might already know, but in case you don't, you just start on the main dashboard page. So if you're right here in HoneyBook, you'll just come to tools and click on my templates. And then we have legacy templates and my templates. So legacy templates are the older version of what HoneyBook templates used to be. So now they have things called smart files, which is the new way of doing templates, but you can still have access to your older templates as well if you wanted to access any old contracts or invoices, and you can actually easily just convert them over into a smart file. But if you're ready to make your own templates and you're ready to build them from scratch, then what you could do is you can hear where you're accessed your email templates and you can just add a new email in here, packages, any package details you want to include. So you would click on create a new package, put all your package details in there, put your pricing in there. Contact form, being able to get the contact form built in HoneyBook and then embed it on your website. Your email signature, you can also do that in company settings. But if I go to all, you can see that I can also create a contract, an invoice, a proposal, services, questionnaire all of that good stuff. And one of the things I would actually suggest, suggest doing right from the beginning is building out these folders. So I like to do this for my own clients. So if I click questionnaire, if I click, click on contracts, proposals, I'm gonna do maybe services. And so then you have all these different folders that you can actually set those up in your own HoneyBook account, you can actually file those away. So once you make the folder, you can actually then move it to a folder and we're gonna move this. I don't have an invoices one, so let me make that one first really fast. Invoices, okay. And then we're gonna go back to all. And I love being able to organize it this way because it's it's then super easy to then just identify like where where different templates are when I'm ready to use them for my own business. So this is this would be like a questionnaire so we can move that over into there. So then when you come in, if you clicked on this one, you would see that this is now filed in my questionnaires. It will still show up in here, 
But if I just want to look at my questionnaires and utilize my questionnaires right from the start, once I file all of these and create folders for them, I can easily just then go in and access them. So it's really easy to then build them within my projects with my clients. So of course, any questions, let me know. Um, but I'm super curious to hear what templates you might be creating currently. And if you run into any hiccups, I'm happy to help as well. Wow.